What's up guys and welcome to Do More Life. There's a reason I call this channel Do More Life and that's because I'm doing more life. The title of this video is about my 10 years of freedom, my 10 years of uh, having recovered from a major problem, my 10 years of traveling, uh, 10 years of going back to school, my 10 years of uh, becoming a, a free person. And I want to explain that to you in a little bit of detail. So, 10 years ago today, I was laying in a hospital bed in the emergency room of a hospital in uh, Concord, North Carolina, where I was pretty much almost on the brink of death. Um, to put it mildly. Now, during this time, um, I had been not sober uh, for the past 10 years. So, through my 20s and my 30s, I was not the person that you wanted to be around. I was, uh, I was not a good person uh, during that time. And at 30 years old, um, I was taken to the emergency room again uh, barely alive and was told that if I continued to do the things that I had been doing I would no longer uh, be on this earth so that kind of stagnated in my or, or stayed in my mind um, and I decided to make a change I decided to make a decision and I made a decision that decision uh, cost me a 14-day treatment center. Then it cost me 15 months of my life in a recovery community. And I have to tell you, sitting here today, there's no better decision than I have ever made. Um, it's been 10 years since I had a drink or put any uh, mind or mood-altering substances into my body for that purpose. And let me tell you what's happened in those 10 years, just briefly, for those of you that don't know me. I've created a YouTube channel, and, and we've been looking at 29,000 subscribers now, and I'm very, very happy about that. Um, come a long way in various uh, projects and different things that I wanted to do with my life. Uh, one of which was get a college degree. So, after being... Uh, clean and sober for six months I decided to go back to college and I did it took me six years to get a degree but you know I had to start all over and I was starting fresh and really I had to learn how to be a man all over again um, still learning how to be a man uh, this is a never-ending process so for those of you going through this process just know that it's worth it the time you spend being around positive people people that influence you in a positive manner, people that will call you out on your mistakes, uh, people that will tell you when you are doing wrong, and people that will give you the suggestions when you need them. Those are the people you want to put in your life. So that's what I did. I put those people in my life. That's why I stayed in that community for 15 months. Because I had spent 10 years uh, tearing myself down. I didn't think I could undo all of that damage in a 14-day uh, treatment center <laughs> and even 15 months in a, a recovery-based community didn't really uh, solve all my problems but it did put me on the right track which brings me to <clears throat> some of the things that um, I've accomplished which are by most accounts would seem mediocre but to me are miracles um, because I had no life to speak of when I was in my early 30-year-old early uh, stage. It was in my late, the latter part of my my 30-year-old <laughs> uh, life that I decided to make this change. So, basically what's happened is I got a college degree. I've been able to travel abroad. I lived in the Philippines for nine months. I have lived in Thailand now for the last three years. Um, I've been able to bring messages of uh, hope, strength, positivity, a little bit of wisdom, 
some, made some good suggestions to people, helped some people along the way, and that is what my life is about now. That is what my life is about. Today feels a little different than last year. I remember last year when I had nine years, I didn't even make a video about it. I did for my seventh and eighth year, but I didn't for my ninth, and it just really didn't feel special. I, I, because even when, even when we go through uh, this process of uh, sobriety and uh, walking away from the things that, that had us entrapped in our own mind, and we learn to uh, live life differently, and we learn that there's a different kind of life we can live, doesn't mean it's going to be easy all the time. And I think I was just in a kind of a stagnant mood um, last year. But this year, you know, I think a decade worth of uh, sobriety and uh, being clean is worth making a video about for those of you who ever wonder about, um, you know, what's, what's it going to take for me? Um, what's my situation? Uh, you, Jeremy, you don't understand me. Trust me, I understand. Um, I was the epitome of... Uh, a loser <laughs> in every sense of the word. I'm not going to get into details about that because we are on YouTube after all. Um, just know there's nothing that I haven't tried or haven't done. Um, and if you're watching, you're probably thinking, oh, that's not possible. And it's possible. And I want to tell you that there's hope on the other side. There is hope on the other side. Um, there is a new life on the other side. Today I live fairly comfortable. I have a job in Thailand. I love Thailand. Um, I love traveling. I got to see, back in 2014, I got to see uh, Peru. I went to Machu Picchu, which is one, probably my most favorite place on earth currently. <clears throat> and I spent a month in Peru. And it just... It, seeing things that I'd never seen before. Um, none of this that you are hearing about now would have ever happened, ever happened, had I not made a decision to live when I was 30 years old on May 13th, 2011. So with that being said, guys, I just want you to be aware that there's hope. There's always hope. It doesn't matter if you've said you're going to straighten your life out. 20 times, 30 times, 40 times, keep going and keep coming back because I accumulated 10 years of sobriety one day at a time and you can too. That's why I'm doing more life and that's why I'm going to tell you today, no matter what you do, be sure you do more life. Leave a bunch of comments below, lots of questions. I love to answer them. Take care guys.